In this video, I'm diving into the fascinating mysteries of Betelgeuse, one of the most intriguing stars in our galaxy. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, has been the subject of countless studies and speculations. It's one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye and is around 700 times larger than our sun. But what makes Betelgeuse so fascinating? For starters, it's nearing the end of its life cycle and could go supernova at any moment. This event would be a spectacular sight from Earth, possibly even visible during the day. Betelgeuse's brightness has been fluctuating dramatically in recent years, leading to theories about its impending explosion. In late 2019, the star dimmed significantly, sparking widespread excitement and concern in the scientific community. Was this the beginning of the end for Betelgeuse? Scientists have been using advanced telescopes and space missions to monitor Betelgeuse closely. The European Space Agency's Herschel Space Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope have provided invaluable data, revealing massive ejections of material from the star's surface. Here are some interesting facts and parameters about Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is classified as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness changes over time. This variability has puzzled astronomers for centuries. The star is roughly 642 light years away, so the light we see today actually left Betelgeuse in the 14th century. Imagine witnessing events that happened during the medieval period. Betelgeuse's diameter is about 1,400 times that of the sun, and if it were placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing all the inner planets, including Earth. Betelgeuse has a mass approximately 10 to 20 times that of the sun, but it's shedding mass rapidly as it nears the end of its life. The surface temperature of Betelgeuse is around 3,500 Kelvin, much cooler than the sun's surface temperature of about 5,778 Kelvin. Betelgeuse is part of the winter hexagon, a prominent asterism in the winter sky, making it easily identifiable for stargazers. The history of observing Betelgeuse is as fascinating as the star itself. Ancient civilizations like the Greeks and Romans noticed Betelgeuse due to its bright red hue. It was catalogued by the ancient astronomer Ptolemy in the Almagest, a crucial astronomical text from the second century. In the 16th century, Tycho Brahe and later Johannes Bayer included Betelgeuse in their star maps, with Bayer assigning it the designation Alpha Orionis. However, despite this designation, Betelgeuse is often the second brightest star in Orion, with Rigel taking the top spot. The 19th century brought more detailed observations with the advent of modern telescopes. Sir John Herschel noted its variability in brightness, and since then, Betelgeuse has been under close scrutiny. The star was one of the first to have its diameter measured using interferometry, a groundbreaking technique at the time. In the 20th century, advancements in technology allowed astronomers to study Betelgeuse's surface in greater detail. Observations revealed gigantic convective cells and massive surface activity, shedding light on the complex processes occurring in red supergiants. So what can we expect in the future? If Betelgeuse does go supernova, it will outshine the moon for weeks, becoming a stunning sight in our sky. But even if it doesn't happen in our lifetime, Betelgeuse will continue to be a key subject for astronomers, teaching us more about the life and death of stars. In the meantime, keep an eye on Orion's shoulder for any changes. The universe is full of wonders, and Betelgeuse is one of its most captivating stories. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the cosmos. Stay curious and keep looking up.